now that you've practiced with your first screen recording. And if you haven't done that yet, I would recommend at this point to go ahead and stop and do a practice run on your computer and kind of see how this works and give it a try uh, before you move any, for any further. But let's take a look real quickly. Once you do your first screencast, uh, what to do with it in order to save it on your computer and look at the difference between saving the application program and exporting it in a file format that others can view. So here's where we just left off in the last recording. And so I've got a screencast that I've just made that we need to save. And so I'm just going to click on the save button. And that's going to allow me to save it onto my computer. And you can decide where you want to save it. And I'm just going to call this sample recording number two. And we'll just save that. And it will allow you to open it up in the player. And when you download and install Flashback Express, there's actually two applications that come along with it. The first one is the recorder program, which we've been looking at so far. The other one is the program that you use to play the videos, and then that will be used to kind of fine tune the video before you export it into a format that you can upload to a website so that others can see and, and preview your video. So I'm going to click on Open and Player and it will automatically open up that video and load it in the player. I'm going to hit pause here. And so this is the, the preview screen so that you can go in and kind of preview and take a look at your video um, before you export it. And it, we'll look at in a little bit later in the session on some different settings that we'll want to adjust in order to fine tune the video a little bit before we export it out. But I wanted to point out that there are two different kind of versions of saving. First of all is saving the actual program on your computer and that's what your computer and the program uses to pull up the video for editing. Um, there's not a lot of editing that you can do but we can fine-tune some things before we export it. And there is an export feature up here at the top and there is an option to export it to different video websites. The most common is probably YouTube which we'll look at at the end of this course. But when you export the program it's actually going to save it in a file format that can be either uploaded to another website or used on somebody else's computer that doesn't have Flashback Express in order to see it. Um, and so we'll talk about that again at the end of the course when we look at after we've kind of gotten through some of the different sessions on the different presentations and teaching tools that you can use and create with this program. We'll look at how to optimize it for high definition and get it exported in a format that you can use somewhere else. So for right now, all you need to know is just make sure that when you finish with your sessions, save it into a place on your computer so you can access it later. And you will want to go through and preview it in the preview player um, as we're working through this so you can kind of see how the program works and so that you can see what the participants are going to see when they see the recording on the screen. And so this lets you see what the viewers see, not what you see when you're recording. So you'll be able to see if, if your screen size isn't quite right, or maybe if you're using some different programs, if they aren't lined up correctly, you'll be able to see that in the screen here um, as you um, preview it and play it um, through the player. And so we'll talk some about some of the features of the player in a little bit later session.